Yudita Jidve. Uh, I consider self-awareness very important because I believe it is the foundation of personal growth and success. As such, we need to understand how to become self-aware. So what is self-awareness? If I ask you, how many of us have asked ourselves the question, who am I? How many of us have asked ourselves, what do I want? These are ancient questions, but contemporary ones as well. So I want to share with you today my story, how I became aware of this concept and how I worked towards achieving it. As you all know, Kosovo became an independent country in 2008. Sometime in 2009, Kosovo government announced several job positions for ambassadors. It was the very beginning of establishing the diplomatic service of Kosovo as a newborn country. At that time, I was in mid of my doctorate studies in diplomacy, and I thought it was of my interest to apply so that further contribute to my country. Fine, I did so, I expressed my interest, went through the interviewing process, which was too slow, by the way, and waited for the final decision. In the meantime, I found out that the professional panel that interviewed me evaluated me well and I was ranked high. However, as it happens usually, the decision was to be taken at the political level. Same year in summer 2009, I had a great opportunity to follow some lectures and learn from Professor Robert Solo, a Nobel Prize laureate in economy. An excellent teacher and a very good man. I was having a dinner with him and his wife in a very panoramic uh, area in northern Italy. You know that lakes of Iseo and Como. When I received a text message from a family member saying, media announced names of ambassadors and your name is not among them. Okay, fine, I said to myself, and as probably you all know, this is not a big surprise in Kosovo for a job applicant. Professor Solo probably noticed a change in my facial expression, even though I tried to continue the talk normally. He then asked, any news from Kosovo? I told him about how I applied to become an ambassador, about the interviewing process and about the final result, the news that I just had received. He then looked at me with empathy and I understood maybe he had gone through something similar. He was part of Second World War. And he asked, have you ever thought about leaving Kosovo? Because usually, continued distinguished professor, in countries like yours at this stage of development, there are not many opportunities offered for people of your potential. In fact, never in my life I was interested to go and live abroad. Yes, maybe to study and learn, but not to live too long away from home. But interesting, that same evening, I started considering different prospects of myself. In the coming months, I searched for different opportunities worldwide and finally applied for a faculty position in a prestigious school in France, ESX School of Management. I went through the interviewing process, a very good experience, which resulted successfully, I got the position. That summer, 2009, 2010, I dealt with many papers and visa issues, and in September 1st, 2010, I was about to start a new life. I moved to France, initially in Lille, and after a few months, I moved to Paris, where I currently live and work. 
Since then, I was blessed to meet and learn from students and colleague professors coming from all parts of the globe and from various cultures around the world. Now, today, when I look back to the Kosovo War in 1998-1999, I see a young Albanian Kosovar born in a small town of Skenderai, hiding somewhere in the mountains, trying to save his life from Serbian military, who would never imagine that one day he will be teaching about conflict management and diplomacy and negotiation courses in a city such as Paris. But I'm telling you today that this is possible. But I have come a long way since then, and self-awareness has played an important role throughout this process. Becoming self-aware is about the, is about the process of understanding ourselves. For me, knowing ourselves means being able to assess realistically several dimensions of ourself. It is about knowing what are our strengths, the things that we can do well, knowing our weaknesses, our present limitations. It is about knowing what we want, and furthermore, it is about knowing what we don't want as well. It is about developing an authentic leadership. We are who we are. We are authentic. But one cannot be authentic if imitates someone else. As Hemingway said, you can't get away from yourself by moving from one place to another. Yes, we learn from others, we have to learn from others, but we can't be somebody else. By being authentic, only then we can be an inspiration to others. We then may become leaders that are able to motivate and guide other people towards achieving goals and visions, just as Professor Solo motivated me. So how can we know ourselves? How do we understand ourselves? It is not easy to accomplish. So some advices, have faith. This is the first thing. Faith in who we are, faith in who you are, faith in who we want to be, say, yes, I can do that, and truly believe that this is our most important aim in life. Second, focus, prioritize. Some aspects have more priority over other aspects. Focus your energies, your attention, your workload. Time, manage time, lead with time. Time is becoming, becoming a scarce resource nowadays, everywhere. Follow up, dedicate efforts, dedicate efforts to work. Work with people, show patience and persistence. Nothing can be done alone. Ask, ask questions, ask ourselves, ask yourself, ask others, ask for help. Then we'll come feedback and finally reflect. Listen, listen with empathy, listen act actively, learn to improve, learn to transform, and finally serve. Use this knowledge that you have to serving to the people, serving to humanity, serving to your country. Why is this important? I believe that knowing ourselves makes us happy, makes us feeling free, empowered, self-confident, at peace. Even that inner peace inside of us that we do lack many times. It makes us feel fulfilled, self-actual, secure, self-confident, and motivated, and much more. This lead, these lead to better communication, better conflict management behaviors, and negotiation, and if we see nowadays in the world, we need so much these skills. And better relationship with people. The positive side is that self-awareness or knowing yourself can be developed. We are not born with that skill. 
which in turn then leads to being able to create a context that is more favorable to you, the context which provides us with opportunities and with what we want, finally. Furthermore, that enables us to be the person we want to be. Hopefully, all of us want to be a person, a leader in service to the good. I believe, for me, that is the meaning of life. After all, it all begins when we know ourselves. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we are living in a new world which we don't know. If I succeed to enlighten you a bit, just a little today, just enough so that you learn a little more about yourself, then we are already two steps ahead towards the success. I would like to prominently mention that policymakers' responsibilities are people's hopes and dreams, jobs and incomes. Sometimes in emerging countries like ours, it happens that the more you know, the more talented you are, the more troubles you will have. It seems this is a policy, but it is our responsibility to change it. What we need today in Kosovo and in Paris and across the globe are ideas, smart people, a culture of innovation, good academics, and good politicians. Furthermore, we need diversity and merging of different cultures. We need a culture that respects everybody's experience and provides equal opportunities for all. This shapes the success. I'll continue contributing to that because I have faith in change and in better world. Thank you very much.